Hi, Boxing Futures is a registered charity set up solely to improve the health and well-being of young people and people in general um, with the use of boxing and non-contact boxing. Also, we look to work with the vulnerable, young vulnerable people, young people with mental health and a variety of areas, not just Peterborough within London. Pretty much what, what the boys have just said really and we're here just to help loads of like, young people help change their lives really which we have been doing for a while now and obviously the lads that are here today with us you know they've they've been through the system and we've, we've changed their lives and i think they would agree wouldn't you, you think Nan? Well, that's the reason we're here that's right you know so that's right i think everything that we do do works for sure when well, we was chatting whilst at work five years ago while we were both working in the prisons mm. and we got just chatting one day over work about working with young offenders and young people and giving them something through sport and we just chatted, put some ideas together and that's really where Boxing Futures were born. Basically it was born in the greenhouse in the prisons gardens, which is no lie. Andy said that you know some of the lads down at the gym would really like to get involved with working with young adult offenders. So that's where the idea hatched up from really. I actually took it to my to my charity that I was working with at the time to use it as an extension of what we did around mentoring. Unfortunately they weren't really interested in, in, in that idea. So me and Andy just went ahead and cracked on, formed a charity and here we are, you know, about five years later, um, delivering our services to young people. Well the question um we see change, definitely change, you know. The people that we see, you know, from the, the, I don't know, from the first time we have them, from like week one or so, to the end of the programme, we see massive, massive changes. And that's what we're all about, you know, seeing the change in these young people for, for the better. Yeah, we see young people growing in confidence, their self-esteem improve, their physical fitness improve, um, weight loss improved, and just general all-round well-being. Um, we actually measure well-being using the Warwick and Edinburgh Wellbeing Mental Scale, Mental Health Scale, which is a questionnaire of a set of 20 questions which we use at the beginning of the programme and at the end of the programme. We then measure the difference and hopefully we'll see an improvement in their general well-being. So that's what we're about really, the improvement of physical, mental health and your general well-being. Um, I think what makes us a little bit different from most other clubs and charities which do this work, we were solely set up to do this work. We um, we didn't set up as a club, we didn't get into this work in order to keep our club going or to generate revenue to keep our club going. We were solely established for this purpose, to use sport for good, sport for rehabilitation. Um, we're a firm believer at Boxing Futures that you know, there's, um, of, in the goodness of the human spirit and the kindness of the human spirit and that's what we try to use and exploit. You know, we work with many volunteers who come and help us out at our sessions um, and which is very, very valuable. In fact, the number of valuable commodities are of our volunteers because without them, Boxing Futures doesn't really work or exist. So. I think with Boxing Futures as well, we're a unique charity. You won't find a charity like us anywhere in the country. With the setup we have, with our level of coaches we've got as well. So that is what I think appeals to all levels that we work with and support as well. I'm sure Chell can add a bit to that. For sure, you know, um, you know for starters, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, an active professional boxer as well, you know, and, um, and to, for all these young people that we work with, to have an active professional boxer teaching them, it gets great rewards from it, and, they, and, they, and automatically they, 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 they get my respect straight away, sort of thing. Like, and I get their respect as well. So you know, I know as what the boys have said, you know, the, you know everyone the box of boxing future, you know, we're, we're like a family. That's what we are, like a family. We're all there for one another, which is really important. Not like any other charity, you know. We're in it, you know, we're, uh, we like, we are all one big family, you know. So we. We can always pick the phone up and there's always someone there to answer, you know, which is really good to have. I think the biggest motivation is the success we've had and the changes we see with the young yeah. people, what we work with. Not just the group that we've got, you've got here tonight, but the group that we work with as a whole. We, we, 
we target different areas, whether it's a mental health side or whether it's offender side or people who are affected by substance misuse. But seeing the outcomes we're getting and seeing how people are changing for the better after spending 12 weeks with Cello, with Joe, with Ant, with Sarah, it's, it's all positive stuff and I can only see us getting bigger. This is just a tip of the iceberg. We're going to be offering so much more to the community and we want to be a permanent fixture. So we don't want to be just a, a quick fix. We want to be here for a long time to be able to help support, sustain, develop mentors, develop our own community. As Cello says, you know, we're a family. Once you come into Boxing Futures, you'll always be welcome. We'll always look after you. We'll always pick up the phone. We'll always help if, if we can. And if not, we'll try and find the right people to try and help you. Oh, I don't know, I think, you know, I've always had the belief, you know, and I think I've always had the mindset that, you know, whatever you put your mind to, you can, you can achieve. Um, and I think if you've got something that's good and it's work and it's honest and it's clean, I think you've got every chance of success. Um, like I said, I've got a good, we've got a really good, passionate board of trustees behind us there. Um, they, give, they underpin the charity with excellent governance. Um, we've got good financial systems um, and, and good processes. We're still young, we're still babies in, a charity, in, in, in this world of charity, um, but we're determined to, to do things the right way and the proper way. And I think one of the key things about us is about our integrity, our honesty and dignity in, in which we conduct ourselves in and out. We're like a house where you get a good foundation and the rest will grow perfectly to how we need it. So as long as you've got a good foundation, the rest of it will grow. You know, and not only that, everything they've always said to me, they've kept to their word, always. And everything they said to me, they will deliver, we've done that. You know, so for me, Boxing Foods has got my 110%, you know, and, um, and everything, everything that we've done so far, I'm like, I'm like over the moon with it all. You know, for me, it's not really about quantity. It's not about how many numbers, how many people we work with. It's about the quality of work that we deliver. Like I said, I'd rather work with, with 10 people than 500 people if I know that I'm going to get some quality outcomes and really going to move those people and so their lives along. Um, so for me, it's, it's really is about, you know, the quality of our work, really. In the future, I think we'll have our own home um, quite shortly and I think we'll become a, um, a young people's community health hub to be quite honest with you. Um, a one-stop place where young people can come to address not only their, their, their physical needs, but also their well-being, where they can train, get counselling, get help, get support around, around various issues. So that's where I see us in a few years' time as being the go-to place for young people in Peterborough. These two questions are at you, Cello. So you've been a, these two questions are at you. Oh, fantastic. You've been a pro boxer for 14 years. Yes. What motivates you to continue boxing? Oh, good question again. Um, what motivates me is obviously passing on my experience with all the young people, you know, showing them with a um, good attitude in life, you can achieve anything you want to do, guys, honestly. You know. I left school with no qualifications, you know. People said to me oh, when, I, when I left school, you're going down one way, what's that, going to prison? You know, I got myself into a bit of trouble when I left school, but I found boxing, you know, and uh, I thought it just to myself, and I wanted to dedicate myself to boxing, and it's changed my life. I've done things I thought I never would do, and it has changed my life, guys, though, and I want to pass it on to everyone I'm in, in that I get in touch with. Yeah, um, boxing futures wise, um, um, Andy um, spoke to me about it, you know, because I was, again, like I said at the beginning, I was with a, another project, which was no, we weren't doing much with it. You know, I was dipping in and out of it really, so I, I, I was doing that for a little bit, for about a year or so. Andy got in contact with me about it, and I said, you know what, yeah, I don't mind getting it, it sounds like a good project. And I'm all about helping young people, and that's what I'm all about, because I knew where, where I could have gone down one, one down the wrong, wrong road. And he got in contact with me about it, and said, like, what, who, what I could do and help out, I said, I'd do that. And then we went, I was, we having loads of like meetings down the A1, you know, down services and that. And then we were like sort of meeting up every so often and talking about what we're going to go through and stuff like that. I thought, you know what, yeah, sounds a good idea. Um, you don't paint the same person with the same brush. Oh, it's not one way there. <laughs> yeah, it's strange, <crazy. laughs> One word, okay, um, one word. Um, thank you, we'll the question again, sorry. What have you learned to yourself that you paint with? Resilience. 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 Yeah.